I became interested in the automotive industry through my father. As a child, I watched a lot of the Daytona 500 races, which is part of NASCAR, and I just became so passionate about when the cars went into the pit to get fueled up and things like that, and I wanted to learn more about how it works, the electronics behind it, the components that made the car move and continue throughout the race, even with crashes and damages, somehow the team was able to pull it through, and I just found that so fascinating. My family has supported me through my passion as wanting to be an engineer. My dad is so hands-on with cars. He built his own car and he saw that I became interested in it in high school. Him and I would go outside and work on the car together. And when I first decided to be a part of an automotive class, I was on the fence. I wasn't really sure. I was like, I know I'm gonna be the only female. How do I go about this? And I think that one of the challenges that I was able to overcome was being afraid of that, afraid to be the only female and what is that like? Are people gonna treat me differently? And in the end, I was treated differently, but I was treated differently in a good way. I took extra time outside of class to learn the material, to study harder, and I pushed myself. I think that my role here at the Idea Lab has changed me as a person not only by allowing me to grow and develop as a leader, but I feel like it's also given me the opportunity to take a step back and listen to other people and hear their ideas and their opinions as we are a team. I just think it's important to not only be a leader, but to be an ear. And that's something that I think is important for me to have learned. A lot of the furniture in the makerspace is actually student made which is pretty cool. We have the front desk when you first walk in that was designed using CAD, cut out using the ShopBot, painted, sanded. That was a nice project that us as a team at the Makerspace, we were able to work on that together. If I didn't have the different projects and activities that we've worked on here at the Makerspace, I wouldn't have had those opportunities to further my friendships with students. My junior year, I'm currently working on helping the Capstone team with their senior project, which is the Formula SAE car, go-kart. So I am working on the lighting system for that. I completed an internship at QScript, which is a teleprompting company, where I designed a battery holder. Um, and I was able to fortunately leave the company with a end product of their wireless foot controller now implemented with the battery holder that I designed. When I was designing the battery holder, I was struggling to figure out how to use Fusion 360. And a lot of people here are willing to take time out, not only during their work hours, but outside of their work hours to help you as a student to benefit you in whatever way possible, whether that is something like an internship working on a battery holder like I did, or it could be something smaller than that, just a project for school. I do feel very comfortable as a woman in STEM due to the environment that's been presented to me at Sacred Heart. Um, the engineering professors here and STEM professors are very open and welcoming and they don't care whether you're female or male. And I feel that in the future when I look for jobs, I feel very confident and I think that confidence comes from the type of experiences and leadership roles that I've had here at Sacred Heart, which will help me to get a job in the future. I'm Caitlin Mangano, and I'm proud to be a woman in STEM.